With SEMrush, broken backlinks are going to be a thing of the past because it's going to allow you to figure out what links are broken so you can go fix them. Pretty simple, right? Um, basically, all you need to do is set up an SEMrush account if you don't already have one, also known as SEMrush. If, if you don't have an account, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a free trial and then you can use all of these tools I'm talking about. But once you're in here, I like to start with the backlink audit and you'll need to create a project. So um, we'll use Tesla here as the example. So when we open up this Tesla project, it takes a little bit of time for it to run this um, audit. But once it's done, we can, first of all, dig into all sorts of different information. Like let's say we're the owner of Tesla, we're Elon Musk, and <laughs> uh, we wanna see how things are looking. Um, the toxicity level, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it because it seems to be off for most websites from what I find. Um, but like we can see their authority score, which has a lot to do with backlinks. Uh, we can see how many backlinks they have, what percentage are follow and not follow, all that sort of good stuff. Um, I won't go into all the bits and pieces of it here because you know, if you have questions about how any of this works, you can just hover over these little icons and it'll explain what each of these means. But what I want to show you how to do is use SEM Rush or SEM Rush, as it's now called, to find broken backlinks so that you can fix them. So once we're here, we've run the, a backlink audit, we can go over to target pages in this menu bar up here. Once we're at target pages, if you click on target URL error, check that box that's going to show all of the backlinks that are broken. Essentially, pages on other people's websites that link to our website where there's no page for them to link to anymore. So there are people linking to Tesla using forward slash call EU, and Tesla does not have a page on their website, forward slash call EU. So if we're Tesla, we would then come here, open this up, and see who in the heck is linking to forward slash call EU. And as this is opening up here, should be able to see it is this company here with this URL. Um, it looks like something on their manuals page is linking to this URL. So if we're the owner of Tesla, we're Elon Musk, we're going to tell our marketing company, hey, look, we need to add a page on our website that's called forward slash call EU or add a 301 redirect so that it goes to our contact page. That way, if somebody is on this website and they click on this backlink, it's going to take them to a page. And then also Google is going to be able to go to a real page and not a 404 error page, right? And we would just keep coming down and it looks like maybe these people messed up a link here. So short shorts period, maybe the short shorts is a real URL. So maybe we would need to reach out to whoever is linking to this URL and say, hey, look, it looks like you got your link wrong. You might want to fix that. Um, <clears throat> and then again, just keep going down here until we fix all of these broken backlinks. Uh, now, there's broken backlinks in a technical sense, meaning, you know, the link doesn't go to a page that exists. It's legitimately broken. And you want to make sure to fix all of those, of course. Uh, but there are also... Where did I have this pulled up? <laughs> there are also, uh, if you go over from overview to lost and found. You'll be able to see all of the new links, of course, but you'll also be able to see the broken and lost links. These are also important to note because there can be issues going on that are causing links to be broken, uh, but it might not be like an actual 404 error on your website, right? So in these cases, it's showing a 503 error. This one actually is a 403 or a 404 error here. 
Uh, so then would want to figure out like what is going on? How come on this website there's a link to Tesla that is not working and is broken and what's going on here? Right? So we can then dig into all of these or we could then, well, in addition to that, I would also recommend going over to the lost broke or the lost backlinks and then digging into any of these backlinks that you've lost and figure out what's going on, why did you lose them? Um, yeah, I don't. I won't go into the details of every single type of backlink, why it could be lost, how to fix that. There's plenty of other videos online, but now that you know how to use this tool, you should be able to go analyze your website and figure out what in the heck is going on with all of your backlinks, whether they're lost or broken or whether it's like you actually have 404 errors and then you can just go out and fix all of those. You can export these as a CSV, which is what I like to do, and then create a spreadsheet and just start going at one by one and then you can mark each one done as soon as it's completed until you've fixed all of your broken backlinks. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you do have questions about in terms of using SEMrush for broken backlinks, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just uh, drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.